glimpse of the marching bands and other participants. University of Pennsylvania swimmer Leah Thomas is now the first known transgender athlete to win a Division I national championship in any sport. Not everyone is celebrating the historic victory. This morning, victory. Thomas wins the NCAA championship. And controversy. <laughs> Leah Thomas, a swimmer on the University of Pennsylvania's women's swim team, has become the first openly transgender athlete to win a Division I NCAA championship. I try to focus on my swimming, uh, what I need to do to get ready for my races, and just try to block out everything else. Outside of the arena, dueling protests. This isn't about hate, this is about identities do not play sports, bodies play sports. And Leah Thomas will always have a male body. This dog whistle for transphobia, if you're going to allow Leah to compete, then we need to give her a chance to win. This protester inside the arena holding up a sign reading, Save Women Sports. Thomas competed on the men's team for three seasons before undergoing years of hormone therapy. But critics argue Thomas still has an unfair advantage. Nancy Hogshead Makar is a woman's rights attorney and former Olympic swimmer. Leah Thomas has been through puberty, so that's 10 years of having testosterone making broader shoulders and bigger lungs and strength. Hogshead Makar wrote a letter to UPenn last month signed by 16 athletes on the school swim team, saying, quote, Leah holds an unfair advantage over competition in the women's category, as evidenced by her rankings that have bounced from number 462 as a male to number one as a female. But another trans swimmer, Isaac Hennig of Yale, who recently competed against Thomas, argues otherwise. Trans athletes have always existed, we will continue to exist, and we deserve to play the game just as much as everyone else. Earlier this year, the NCAA changed the rules on the participation of trans athletes, eliminating blanket requirements and allowing each sport to make its own regulations.